Hi guys, this is Travis from Scroll Saw Goodies. Welcome back to another episode. This is going to be a bonus demonstration on how to make an American flag using uh, uh, nothing more than three shapes and using the grouping and align and distribute tools to create the flag. Uh, this was the assignment I put out in lesson three, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you how that is done. So let's go ahead and get started. All you're going to need are you're going to need uh, three shapes here. We're going to need a uh, square. Holding down the control button to make sure it's a perfect square. So I'm going to put that to the side. I'm also going to be needing a stripe of some sort. And then we're also going to be needing a star. So we'll go ahead and put that together as well. Now this square is going to be a navy blue. So we'll click navy blue. Uh, this stripe is going to be red. So we'll go ahead and click that and then the star will be white and we'll go ahead and click that. Well what about the white stripe? Well that's easy, we'll just duplicate the red stripe, bring that down and we'll make it white. Okay so now we gotta line these things up. So I'm gonna come over here to align and distribute. I'm gonna use the first selected option here. I'm gonna select the white stripe first and then the red second and I'm going to left justify those things and then I'm going to go ahead and align the bottoms so that now they're stacked on top of each other. I'll go ahead and group those together. I'll just come up here to group and now we have those things grouped. I'm going to go ahead and control D or duplicate those and now I have another set. So once again I'm going to select one, select the next, go ahead and left justify and then just go ahead and stack them on top of each other, group them again duplicate once again same story push those two buttons so what do we got one two three four let's go ahead and group that duplicate it and let's go ahead and once again stack them up and group them so let's go ahead and shrink this down just a, a wee bit so it's a little bit more manageable we need seven red down, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it looks like these three last three stripes we need to remove. So I have the object selected. I'm going to start ungrouping these until I get the individual stripes. So Control Shift G will be ungrouping them and just hit it several times until I get each of the individual stripes. Now with my marquee, I could just select the last three stripes, hit the delete key. And there we got our stripes for the flag. So I'm going to group those up. And I'm going to go ahead and stretch them out a little bit just to make it look a little bit more proper. And now we have the blue square. So let's go ahead and bring the blue square to the, all the way to the top. So I'm going to click this button and bring it all the way to the top. I'm going to go ahead and shrink it down just a little bit. And then I need to put this in the upper left-hand corner. So I'm going to select both of these. I'm going to left justify it and then I'm going to shove it right to the top and now it's in the upper right hand or upper left hand corner exactly. Now I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit and I'm going to select the blue square and I'm going to bring this um, uh, blue square up to the bottom of that red. So now that looks about right. I think these stripes are a little long so let's go ahead and pull that down in a little bit. Okay, so now it's time to start, uh, well let's group the flag as we have it already. So control G to group those and now let's go ahead and start putting in the stars. Bring it to the top, zoom in a little bit, it's time to shrink down this star because we need a much smaller than that. So we need six of these to go across the top. So I'm going to just go ahead and duplicate those. Uh, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to kind of line them out a little bit uh, just to see if they'll actually fit. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, we do. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of put these on the edge, just kind of position the two outside stars uh, where I want them. And I'm going to select all all of the stars and I'm going to go ahead and center them along the horizontal axis. And then I'm going to put even space between them all by clicking uh, the uh, distribute button. And now we could group that together, duplicate it. We'll bring this down. Uh, and uh, these stars are usually staggered. So let's go ahead and ungroup that. Control Shift G. Delete the last star. Select everything else. Group that up. And now we could uh, go ahead and select both of these. And center them up. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and select all of these, both of these uh, groups. I'm going to group those together. I'm going to duplicate that once. Duplicate it again. And once again, just for good measure. And then this last group of stars, this bottom row, needs to go away. So we'll just go ahead and select that and hit delete. Now let's go ahead and put this into position. Uh, we'll put it right in there somewhere. I'm going to select this top group. I'm going to ungroup this one because I want each one of these rows of stars to be separate. So push the wrong button there. So ungroup, ungroup. So now we'll just select all of those. We'll go ahead and center all those groups up and then we'll distribute evenly along that axis. And just like that, we have our American flag. So you can really see exactly how powerful the Align and Distribute tool uh, really is for creating uh, uh, patterns of all sorts. I uh, hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Uh, stay tuned for the next installment. It will be Lesson 4 uh, coming out shortly. I hope you enjoyed this installment of our continuing classroom series on how to use Inkscape to create scroll saw patterns. You can find this lesson and others over at scrollsawvillage.com in the Village University Forum. There you'll find videos, written instruction, downloadable source material, and of course classroom discussion where you can have all your questions answered. This video series is produced by Scrollsaw Goodies in association with Scrollsaw Village. Be sure to stop by and say hi, and until next time, happy scrolling.